just arrived in the mail or we picked it up today. Bugs for bugs, lace wings, eggs hopefully, um, lace wing eggs to um, put amongst the trees to try to help deal the pests, especially the um, leaf miner. We'll give it a shot. So let's let's come in and have a look and see. Okay, so we're going to open it up and have a look inside. Um, it's sort of it's early morning now, so mid morning now, so we're not going to. We're not going to distribute them now. We'll probably set it up and distribute them this afternoon or in the early evening. Um, so let's have a look. Keep out of direct sunlight, okay? So, for control of aphids, scale index, mealybugs, caterpillars, and white fly. 2,000 eggs, that's what we've got. Keep out of direct sunlight. Shake, roll, pack gently. Target hot spots. Recommend release rate 10 to 50 lace wigs per 50 square meters. So if you've got 2,000 of them, I don't know, um, just say you're doing 50, 2,000 divided by 50 is 40, so you do 40 square meters. Okay, so that's just some packing paper and we also got some of these little boxes. I think I've got six of them or 10 of them. Um, let's have a look at that, how they work. So what we'll do is we'll tie the, we'll tie the little box to the, to the, to the tree, to a tree limb and then um, put the, somehow these things work, um, to get it so they don't fall apart like that. So we'll work that out and then once we're ready to roll, we'll assemble these boxes and um, we'll put them on the tree. So what are they saying here? A text, text sheet for lace, green lace wings. So the Malada Signatus. So they are among common and native lace wings in Australia. Okay, so the the larvae are actually the predators, not the adults. The larvae go around eating all sorts of um, little caterpillars and aphids and things like that. Um, so we're getting the eggs, not the adults. When to release? Um, larvae. Lacewing larvae are recommended for treatment of pest hotspots, both outdoors and protected crops. Best results achieved when they are applied before the pests reach damaging level levels. Okay, so we don't have any chemical applications yet, so that's okay. Um, we recommend waiting till larvae emerge, so I don't know, we'll, we'll open it up later and see, um, and they say they're tiny, so difficult to see. So we'll check it out later this afternoon and see how it goes. So anyway, that's good. Okay, looking at the box or the, the tube, the cylinder, um, it's got a bit of a gauze wire there, gauze to put just for the airflow for the eggs, I guess, for the little ones, um, but we won't open it now. The um, box of the lace wings the tube cylinder of the lace wings before and we could see the little larvae walking around of them crawling around so they're they're live they've hatched so what we're going to do is we're going to release those larvae this evening and um, to prepare for that we're going to um, be putting these boxes um, together and or assembling them and to then hanging them up in the trees in certain locations so we'll Demonstrate with one how one of these ones how we do it. So what I'm going to do is I push that tab down like that, and then I push the two side tabs down like that, and then the final tab, which has got the final tab, which is a bit longer, I push that in into the middle like that. Maybe push through on the other side, and that creates the box. So now it should be fairly secure for the little larvae; they won't fall out the bottom and because um, it's fairly flat down the bottom. So the larvae came in, we'll show it later, but the larvae come in sort of a grainy type char, chaff material. So we'll just pour some of that into each, each box. So a little MCT one, um, and we're going to put one of the boxes onto the tree to so that we can put the um, material in with the, with the lacewing larvae in later on. So this is an MCT one tree, which we planted back in May, like about three or four months ago. And you can see oh, there's a bit of a problem with this tree straight away. It's got this basal growth, which we'll get rid of. And on this basal growth here, you can see 
the problem we're trying to deal with is this see how it's sort of it's disfigured there it's like a it's like a the the um, membrane has popped up and it's brown underneath so I don't know if we'll be able to see it they're tiny little caterpillars that um getting around there like that so that's what that's a problem we're dealing with I'm um, hoping these these lace swing larvae will will hit these little these little um, leaf miner caterpillars that, that damage the leaves so let's get one of these boxes um, it's only a little tree so um, I don't know where we'll put it um, maybe there there's a bit of a branch a bit of a joint there so we'll get a bit of string and we'll tie it around tie it around a couple of these branches make a simple knot Doing it the wrong way. And we'll put it through the hole of the box. I think I'll be able to work it out. No, it's not very good, is it? <laughs> okay, just cut that and we'll do it again. Stop it, we'll do it again. Okay, okay, good over, good over again. Um, we're continuing with the lace wing story, um, putting out the larvae. Um, here's the, the, the tube again, the cylinder again, and um, 2,000 eggs in there, 10, net, 10, 10 boxes, and so that's roughly 200 eggs per box. It's it's coming into the evening now, it's cooler now, so it should be better for these little larvae um, rather than the heat of the day. And so let's let's get the box, the cylinder, and we'll see. We'll have a peek in there and see what we can see. Yes, yeah, so I've taken the plastic cap off. I've got this gauze material there. And you can see there's a sort of like seed material there, and you can see that actually the little larvae, I don't know if you can see that or not, they're crawling around already around there so there's a couple of them getting out so i'm going to use this i don't know if that's going to work but i'm going to use this little wine cup to pull oh, it's spilling a bit oh dear dear okay i probably should do it over the over the over the box this might be enough so we've got to be at about get about 10 so we'll go so you can see them in there and oh, you can see the little larvae crawling around already so see what they do She's sort of going off exploring already. Finally, we're back at the big old tree and we'll I'll put a, a sucker box up there. We'll hide a box up there, so we'll put some more in there. Put some of them in there. Above my head. It's too hard to see. This tree could be good for them. There's plenty of habitat. So after the 10 boxes, we've still got a fair bit left. Um, Can't see. So... No, you, you need to this angle. Yeah, so we've still got a fair bit left. And um, yeah, so we'll just pour a few bit more into the first few boxes. So we'll just pour a bit more into this fellow. A little bit more into the last two right back over here and then that'll be it.
over here and then you can see, let's have a look to see if there are any getting out. So, come over to where I'm standing, you can see them starting to crawl out. They're very, very small. I'm not sure if they'll grow bigger or not. Um, and the, we'll know whether it's success, a success or not when, when um, we see their, if we see their eggs from the adult from the next generation and they look sort of they're sort of like coming on stalks underneath the leaves so that's what we're hoping for so these things they are um these larvae they are um they they do eat their own kind so it's like they're cannibals so hopefully they haven't eaten too many of each other and we've still got close to two thousand of them actually i can see two down there they're attacking each other right now looks like it yeah, so anyway, we'll see how it goes and thanks for watching this video. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, we are going to spray these trees with, a, with what they call eco oil or brand eco oil, but we won't spray the trees that we've, we've put the, um, the seasonal, um, put the lace wing larvae on. So we'll spray the other trees um, to try to deal with this problem with the um, leaf liner. So we'll, we'll carry on with that afterwards. Show that in another video. So take care. See you later.